Flicking is nothing more than the meniscus, disc, or cushion being loose. It becomes loose under the influence of inflammation. Inflammation within the temporomandibular joint causes the ligaments that hold the disc in place to get loose. In a healthy joint, uh, the disc is supposed to move a little bit and silently, silently for sure, within the temporomandibular joint. But as inflammation takes hold within the joint itself, again, created by some kind of overload, some kind of damage of the three categories, the ligaments begin to get loose. And when the ligaments get the, get loose under the, um, under the influence of chronic inflammation, and when the condyle head moves in and out down the slope, that disc uh, will begin to click, 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 but no pain is involved. That is one of the earliest stages, if not the earliest stage of locking of the temporomandibular joint, but is almost always ignored because there is no pain. And again, it occurs very frequently in young females. Uh, again, why females? Because estrogen exacerbates inflammation. No, that is in the literature for 70 years. Estrogen exacerbates inflammation. So that is why this is primarily a female disease, 90% female, 10% male. It's all common sense. It's all in the literature. This is not rocket science. But today we're talking about the click, 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 click. The next thing um, that occurs when the clicking is ignored long enough. Now that long enough could be two weeks, two months, two years, two decades. But sooner or later, if ignored long enough, the cushion, disc, meniscus becomes really loose. The ligaments become um, less supportive and the click will be caused by the meniscus coming all the way out of the glenoid fossa socket, balls up into a little ball in front of the socket. Now when the patient opens up, they get about halfway open. For a moment, they can't get past their cushion, which is sitting here in the front. They can't get past until the cushion clicks back. That is usually with a louder noise, more often defined as a pop, P-O-P, -P, pop. And that is most likely to cause pain. 